Yo, how's it going, guys? It's Richie, you know, Corn Call here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Right now, it is storming hard, so we're just gonna speed run through this real quick. Alright, a reminder that you still have the Wizard 101 and Pirate 101 one year membership uh, special deal that is going on. It's gonna last all the way through August 12th, so if you wanted to save on a one year membership, make sure to check that out. A reminder that you still have plenty of time to buy the Devim plushie, which is going to be available all the way through 19 days, so have fun with that. A reminder that you can always go to the KI merch store to get some nice merchandise from hats, hoodies, cups, etc. So make sure to check that out. Lastly but not least, Ravenwood Academy A was a one on one story. Um, we talked about this many, many times. I shouldn't even be saying last but not least because we have a ton of more news to talk about. But yeah, you can go on Steam and add this to your wish list. So have fun with that. And then over here, the um, Olympian bundle is available through August 14th. So if you wanted to check that out, that is available to purchase. So make sure to have fun with that. A reminder that we have the Peppergrass Glen bundle, which is also available um, in the online cart. Make sure to also check that out as well. And then over here, this is new. They have the Lumi pets that have returned. Also, Chris Deathrider actually did a nice little video talking about the lore or origin of the Lumis. But yeah, they have pretty much all of them in the crown shop currently. So if you're a pet collector, this is now your time to like you know basically do that they have the daisy sunny tulip and violet lumi pets so again make sure to check all of that out in the crown shop there's a lot of stuff in the crown shop <laughs> uh they have a ki designer stream happening today q a house party um august 9th which is today 4 30 p.m cdt um, and this is pretty cool uh the decorated and how hosted by more grim thunder it's going to be at the Massive Fantasy Palace. They're going to meet up in Realm Troll um, Area 1. House is limited to 100 guests at a time. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. I like that. Should be pretty cute. Hopefully, everybody has fun with that. And then over here, a reminder of all the other stuff that's happening um, through the 11th. Remember that we have the Daily Assignment Reward Bonus, which I'm assuming is basically the membership benefit for the weekend because I have not seen any other, like, news been posted. So I'm just assuming that this is going to, uh, you know, be the membership benefit. Remember that you got that new Shadow Demon Pegasus mount, which we talked about. It's going to be available all the way through September 29th. So make sure to check that out. And of course, all the events and whatnot. And remember that you also have the Celestial Wolf um, as well. It's a limited time uh, mount that you can purchase in the crown shop. I believe it's like 10,000 crowns. So again, make sure to check all of that out. A reminder that you have the cat sale, which is available all the way through the 11th. Make sure to check that out. They have a bunch of uh, pets, mounts, and etc. Rate My Stitch event is available all the way through the 12th. Make sure you are uh, doing that pretty much every day just so you can get that uh, free stitch token. Beast Moon Hunt is also available through the 12th. Make sure to check that out. Level 50 Elixir is still on sale through the 11th. Make sure to check that out. The raid keys and bundles are always going to be in the crown shop, so check that out. And then you have the, um, you know, Zafaria and Avalon elixirs, check that out. Fanciful Fairy Kai Horde Pack, we talked about this pack, make sure to check out the crown shop. Simmering Summer Event is still going to be active all the way through September 22nd. They have a bunch of stuff in the crown shop that you can buy and check out, so make sure to have fun with that. And then over here, a reminder that the Summer School of Fortune is in its last month. August 31st will be its last day uh, to basically complete this, so make sure you are wrapping up, uh, you know, the points for that. Uh, Floating Lands Resort Bundle available uh, at GameStop for $39. This is a shared bundle between Fire 101 and Wizard 101. And then over here, a reminder that you can download Wizard 101 on your Chromebook. Make sure to check it out. And then last but not least, the actual last thing. Um, earning crowns through uh, videos and FAQs and stuff like that. Just a reminder to check that out in case you wanted to earn some crowns. Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't really work. So, you know, I've just been doing trivia here and there just to try and reset my uh, training points. But beyond that, that's pretty much the main news. And no, apparently the loyalty store has not been updated yet. And right now it is like 
August 9th. And I know this is like kind of a big issue with them concerning the loyalty store. I know everybody's always waiting for it to be refreshed and stuff like that. I know it's like a weird little time gap that they have. I don't know. I guess we just have to wait, I guess, till next weekend, you know. Um, maybe next weekend it will be activated and refreshed with the other content. Because I know it does take a while for it to, uh, uh, refresh. So we'll just have to wait and see. I have a raid, uh, scheduled for tomorrow. And just praying and crossing my fingers that everybody manages to show up. I'm super excited to try this out again. And I'm also doing more gear builds for, uh, doing Vanguard, which should also be fun. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully everybody shows up. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for the news, guys. Honestly, not much news this entire, I guess, month so far. I mean, of course, we have the Devim plushie and stuff like that. But I'm just kind of exhausted. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm just going to be... 100% I've been exhausted mentally this year for wizard 101 has been the most exhausting year and I thought last year was exhausting but this year is actually like the number one most exhausting year for me mainly just with the community mainly with the community but uh yeah game wise I've just kind of let it go like you know if there's always something glitchy or, oh no, this was the same year. Yeah, because we got banned off of Wizard. Remember the whole raid key exploit thing? I almost, I literally forgot about that. That, oh my god. <laughs> I literally forgot about that fiasco. It wasn't really a fiasco. They were pretty quick with it. They just removed everybody's keys. I don't really care much about that. But I can't imagine, though, for like the future updates, if that were to happen again, it's definitely gonna give everybody. Um, a really big mental headache. I just want them to just take their time with updates and just really kind of just test some of the new content out. I mean, honestly, this update was pretty decent. I haven't really noticed much. I mean, I don't know if there were that many bugs and glitches. I mean, the only thing that was super buggy is still, like, the Portal Apparel event. That is still... That thing needs to be, like, overhauled. I don't know what's with the Portal Apparel, but... Beyond that, the raid seems pretty chill. Haven't really noticed much with that. Everything's been pretty chill, so I'm not going to hold y'all off for eight minutes. I know I want that juicy extra revenue, but again, I'm just mentally tired. So have a good weekend, everybody, and until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.